This is a beautiful 1966 Ford Mustang convertible. It's now done in a triple black, black paint, black top, black interior. Absolutely beautiful car. Um, it's riding on a brand new set of American Racing Chrome torque thrust rims with new BFG race white letter tires. They don't have two miles on them yet. They're brand new. Uh, front bumper looks good. It's powered by a great run in 289 with a high rise four barrel Holley carburetor, brand new carburetor, new intake. It's got stock manifolds on it. It does have an electric fan with a um, um, serpentine belt pulley system on it. Chrome alternator, chrome water pump. Just a great looking car. Bottom of the hood's all painted nice as well. As far as our hood gap goes on the pass or driver's side, hood gap's real decent. It sits a little lower right here in the very front corner. The grill is uh, appears to be its original grill. Um, chrome around the grill is good. It's got a couple little tiny dings, one here, one there, and one right there. Very small little dings on the hood chrome. Um, and a couple small pits around the horse and corral, but not bad. front valance is excellent. It's got uh, new turn signal marker lights down low. If you look up and down the sides of this Mustang, it's uh, black shows everything and it's a very straight car. It's got new emblems on it. It's got front disc brakes, which is nice. No blisters anywhere on the car that I can see. The bottom of the passenger fender, door, quarter, um, it's been recently painted. Um, it was super solid when I got it, but just the paint had some dings and stuff in it, and it was an older black paint job, so I chose to repaint it. So the paint's all been wet sanded and buffed to a real nice shine. I'd, uh, I'd consider it a local car show quality car. It's nice, it's straight, um, just an absolutely beautiful condition uh, driver paint job. Bottom corners of the doors are great. Uh, I put new armrests, new uh, base, armrests, door panels. We repainted the inside of the doors. Um, the rubbers are new. When he painted it, they pulled all the doors and stuff and did a great job on all the jams. We installed new carpet, dash pad, brand new steering wheel. Um, we installed all new seats, seat backs, front and rear. It does have its front and rear seat belts. We put new scuff plates in it. I mean, the inside is absolutely beautiful. Door shuts nice and easy. Um, I did take a few pictures of the top. Um, it does have a black top, but the top does need to be repaired. It's got a slit over on the driver's side. Other than that, the top's in real decent shape. Shows you how nice and straight it is. Like I said, no blisters. Rear valance is nice, dual exhaust sounds great. Back bumper has a couple little tiny dings, very, very small. Um, tail light lenses and tail light, uh, if you want to improve some stuff, like uh, the chrome around the tail lights is very cheap, it's 30 bucks I think for the pair. That should be replaced to be a show quality car. Bumpers are good enough for a driver if you want to show a car, spend the 100 bucks a piece and get them done. I did install all new wheel well trim and new rocker molding, which really dresses these up. Um, again, no blisters anywhere in the lower quarter, doors, fenders, um, paints in great shape. It's a really nice car. There is some pitting and stuff on the door handle area, some tarnish marks there. It does have its fender or door tag, corner of the door is perfect, rubber is excellent. As we kind of Look at the interior, the door jams. It's a great car. It does have a power top as well. So it doesn't have power steering, it don't have power brakes, but it's got disc brakes and it's got a power top. 
We're going to talk a little bit about what works. The gas gauge works, which we're pretty close to empty. Uh, oil pressure gauge works, temp gauge works, amp gauge works, speedometer works. Original radio, it does have the Ford AM radio, it does not work. Heater fan works on low, doesn't work on medium and high. Wipers work, and the horn does not work. So it needs a horn button on it. Um, radio doesn't work, and heater fan don't work. Car sounds great. Um, the dual exhaust doesn't have any leaks at the manifold or nothing. It's just got a nice throaty sound. This is by far one of the fastest Mustang convertibles that I've been in. Um, this little 289 runs super hard. Kickdown works on it. It's got the great sound to it. Um, most of the Mustangs that we get, uh, they look nice and inside and out, they just don't run and drive very well. This one really does. Transmission shifts great. Like I said earlier, the kickdown does work in it. Front end is very, very tight. There's absolutely no play in the steering wheel. Doesn't need an alignment. Just nice, nice and tight. Transmission shifts just like it should. Four barrel kicks in. We're gonna try our disc brakes now. No hands on the wheel, brakes stop nice and straight. There again, it's not power, but they're disc. Just a great Mustang convertible. 